Hello again my friends, Xbox invited me to a Halo 5 capture session at E3. I got to play Warzone, Halo 5's brand new multiplayer mode. Now at first, I thought Warzone was simply an epic 12v12 big team deathmatch mode. And while this remains a core element of the gameplay, there's so much more going on here. Warzone is a combination of both PvP and PvE. Yes, you still need to kill enemy players as you would in any team deathmatch mode. But now, there are also enemy AI to track down and kill too. And as you can see here, you actually start Warzone by clearing out your base of enemy AI. I love how the new Promethean soldiers burst into a glowing shower of orange particles when you take them out. So then, once your base is secured, you can venture out into this huge map and get to work. Now, you can win a match of Warzone in one of two ways. The first way is to earn 1,000 points, and you can do this by killing enemy players, AI bosses, and capturing bases. How you decide to help contribute to your team's score is entirely up to you. If you're more of a PvE player, you can concentrate on killing the AI bosses who spawn on the map. If you're more of a PvP kind of player, well, do what you do best kill enemy players. Remember, all this is happening on one map, and with vehicle combat thrown into the mix too, the action often gets intense. Now, the second way to win is to capture the three objective bases on the map, which enables you to then access your enemy's base and destroy their power core for an instant victory. It goes without saying, but this is easier said than done. Now, let's talk about Halo 5's requisition system, a new reward system that enables you to unlock new weapons and vehicles and generally wreak havoc upon the opposing team. Every Every time you kill an enemy, capture a base, or help contribute to your team's score, this helps you gain additional rec levels, which in turn allows you to play with Halo 5's huge sandbox of weapons and vehicles. And this is what I want to focus on for the rest of this video. Let's look at some of the weapons I earned while battling through Warzone and increasing my rec levels. Let's start with the shotgun, a personal favourite of mine, and yes, this thing still destroys at close quarters, and it's really useful to have around when enemy players are rushing the base you're trying to capture. I killed you down. Got the ready. Hey, Next up, we have the rocket launcher. Now, this beast really needs no introduction. Great for clearing out clusters of enemies and taking out vehicles. I managed to get a triple kill with this thing. Check it out. Teammates eliminated Baron Sarone. We're halfway to victory. Next up, we have the Plasma Caster, basically a rocket launcher that fires plasma nades. I had a hell of a lot of fun using this. I managed to stick and destroy a ghost and some poor hapless bastard. But when I tried to do the same to an AI boss, well, let's just say he got the better of me. Level 7 wrecks available. Online. And finally, we have Halo 5's Bolt Shot. Now, while I was playing, I had no idea you could no longer charge this thing. Instead, the Bolt Shot now fires a three-burst shot. Remember, when in doubt, assassinate the bastard. Now, guys, if you'd like to see the full, unedited, 18-minute gameplay video that I captured, head over to my second channel. You'll find a link in the description box below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Halo 5 content, and we'll speak again soon, my friends. Excellent work, Spartan.